Hi, welcome to the Staffing Circle US Staffing Course 2020 on YouTube. In the second part of the video, we have discussed about US Staffing Business Overview. We have shed light on different departments, different functions, different roles that happens within staffing business that includes legal, marketing, risk management, client data systems, collections, associate benefits, national accounts, human resources, accounting and finance, payroll and billing, training and development, systems and branch operations. In the latest staffing trends, we have got new thing in the staffing uh, segment that is getting included called GDPR compliance, global data regulation and protection. This is really important for all the staffing agencies. This has been already implemented in European countries where now you cannot keep customer's information, resume data bank of any of the applicant without having a right to represent a consent which is time bound. It is important for staffing agencies to implement this GDPR into their practice so that the amount of resume database a company holds will have an impact because of this regulation. So it is important to implement this GDPR regulations in staffing businesses. It is predictable that GDPR will impact US staffing businesses as well pretty soon. So being prepared is important and having knowledge of this thing is really important for people in the staffing industry on the operation side who are related to resume database management, applicant tracking management and softwares. So let's further discuss US essential knowledge for US staffing business. In order for anyone who is willing to work in US staffing industry or who is already working in staffing industry in capacity of recruiter, they need to have knowledge of US geography, maps, time zones, holidays and etc. In this video, we will try to discuss those US essential knowledge uh, on geography, time zones, US tax terms, visas and immigration. So let's start. So in the US staffing business, the very first part would be market research, business development, sales, account management, recruitment and resource management. When recruitment happens, there are a lot of activities a recruitment team does to secure resume, to search resume, to initially screen resume, to present to the client. So in order for them to do this sourcing job, recruiting job, they need to have understanding about the US map. So having the knowledge about US map gives you information about the candidate, where they are located, what is the time right now in that location zone. So this is a roadmap. There are 50 states in the country. The country working days are Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Major cities are New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, Phoenix, Philadelphia, San Antonio, San Diego, Dallas, and San Jose. Every street has a zip code that helps track and trace location on map for various usage. There are four time zones in the United States, Eastern, Central, Mountain, and Pacific time zone. So let's say if it is 6.30 p.m. in India, it will be 9 a.m. in the Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. in the Central Standard Time, 7 a.m. in the Mountain Standard Time, and 6 a.m. in the Pacific Standard Time. Daylight saving in the United States is a practice of setting the clock forward by one hour during the warmer part of the year so that evenings have more daylight and mornings have less. It is important for recruitment professionals or US professionals to have knowledge about the US map, geography, eastern states, central states, mountain states and pacific states. So when they are required to connect with candidate through cold calling and emailing, they should know what time it would be in the eastern states so that the candidate should be able to pick up. The normal timings which you should call for business or anything, service or solutions are 9 a.m. 
to 5 pm based on their time zone in which they are operating, staying or having residence. If you are working in US staffing industry, you need to have knowledge about taxation process. There are various types of tax terms that is required for a US staffing professional to understand. As a US staffing professional, you need to know basics of the tax terminology. Rest of the things are taken care by accounting and taxation team. So let's understand tax terms in United States. There are different type of taxation based on the status of an individual in the United States, namely W-2 full-time, W-2 contract, 1099, corp to corp. W-2 full-time or W-2 contract can be done only to US citizen and green card holders. 1099 also can be done for US citizen and green card. These are the forms used for filing their taxation. The difference between W-2 and 1099 is in the W-2 a client directly gives him the form after deducting the taxes where at 1099 the consultant has to pay the tax directly when the filing the returns. Corp to corp are for corporations to corporations for non-immigrants or visa dependent professionals. You need to have understanding about tax. There are different type of taxes that includes federal tax, state tax and district tax. There are various tax under each category that you can see on the screen. As US staffing professional, you are concerned with only these taxation terms such as corp to corp, 1099 or W-2 full-time or W-2 contracting. Visa dependent candidates are taxed as corp to corp or C to C or corporation to corporation. Independent candidates such as permanent residents, green card holders, citizens can be taxed as 1099. When a PR, permanent resident, green card or a citizen directly works with client, they are taxed as W-2 wherein a W-2 form is issued by the employer directly W2 form in order to understand W2 form you need to understand what W form W2 form means a W2 form also known as the wage and tax statement is the document an employer is required to send to a, each employee to the internal revenue service that is IRS at the end of the year a W2 reports the employees annual wages and the amount of taxes withheld from their paychecks. A W2 employee is someone whose employer deducts taxes from their paychecks and submit this information to the government. W2 forms reflect inform earned from the prior year. Employer use W2s to report FICA taxes for employees. The IRS uses W2 forms to track the employee's tax obligation. A 1099 form. A 1099 tax form is a record that an entity or a person, not your employer, gave or paid you money. The payer usually must generate the form 1099 and send copies to you and the IRS. If you are a worker earning a salary or wage, your employer reports your annual earning at year end on form W-2. However, if you are an independent contractor or self-employed, you should receive a Form 1099 miscellaneous from each business client that pays you at least $600 during the tax year. For example, if you are a freelance writer, consultant or artist, you hire yourself out to individuals or companies on a contract basis. The income you receive from each job you take should be reported to you on Form 1099 miscellaneous. When you prepare your tax return, the IRS requires you to report all of this income and pay income tax on. Let's understand US hiring process. Generally, US organization companies, IT services organizations hire only people who are eligible to work full time in United States. So these are all the valid status in the eyes of the US organizations who they can hire for full time for dependent visa professionals, independent visa professionals such as H1B is a dependent visa, F1 is a student visa, it's a two years visa for master's studies after which a student gets an OPT that is optional practical training and then we have EAD it's a document called employment authorization document and finally green card and citizenship. 
H1B. H1B is a six years visa. Requirement for H1B is for a specialty occupation H1B petition, the employee must have bachelor's degree or equivalent experience. The employer for an H1B petition must obtain a labor condition application from the United States Department of Labor before filing the H1B petition with USCIS. An employee who has previously received an H1B visa or been granted H1B status is generally exempt from numerical limitations. An employee who is presently employed in H1B status may utilize the probability provisions of the American Competitiveness in the 21st Century Act to transition their H1B to a different employer. The spouse and minor children of an H1B employee are authorized to live in United States in H4 status and to study but are not permitted to work. H1B visa is a total six years visa in which the employer gets validation for two years of their consultant first based on their project. Once they finish their two years, they can still extend the projects for next four years and then they can obtain the EAD and apply for green card. When they obtain an EAD, that means they are in the application of filing their green card. So H1B is a dependent visa in which a company hires a professional from outside US, bringing them to US for specific projects. And if the projects un continues and extends, they keep extending that visa until they get e EAD or until they get permanent residence and settlement. F1 visa is a student visa. The student has been a full-time student for one year academic year in a student and exchange visitor program which is from a university, college, conservatory or seminary. F1 visa, those students who are going to United States for master's degree or an MBA or anything two years degree for uh, their education, they get optional practical training that is one year to two years in which they are okay to work full time for any organizations get full time employment opportunity to work with companies those companies who gives them employment opportunity then files their labor application for filing their h1b's h1b visa is a dependent visa like we have discussed it's a 6 years visa that they that is extendable for 2 2 years for the next 6 years and after that if the work continues they have to obtain an ead document for the work finally eventually student route and h1b they might stay back in United States getting their green card citizens or they might come back to India or to their respective countries for the work or they might obtain B1 visa to do the business eventually visiting back to United States but not staying permanently there or being on dependent visa for a long time. EAD EAD you will need to apply for EAD if you are authorized to work in United States because of your immigration status for example you are an asylee refugee or you non-immigrant and need evidence of that employment authorization or are required to apply for permission to work in other words you need to request employment authorization itself for example you have pending form I-485 application to register permanent residence or adjust status you have a pending form i-589 application for asylum or for withholding of removal you have a nomination non-immigrant status that allows you to be in the united states but does not allow you to work in the united states without first seeking permission from uscis such as f1 or m1 student finally we have green card and u.s citizenship Green card holders are permanent residents of United States. They can live and work in independently without any dependency of visa and limitation of on work. Citizens are the people of United States who are born and brought up in the land and has been in US from very long time. There are various immigration citizenship grants based on cases. Green card and USC is not a visa. It's an acknowledgement of permanent residence and citizenship of an individual. Apart from the general rules that we hear about US staffing that is technical recruiter, bench sales recruiter, 
OPT recruiter. There are different departments in the staffing industry and those roles are not really popular. So in this video, I would like to highlight all those roles and need of those roles in the organization so that people from different backgrounds or people preparing to get into US staffing industry, they want to work in night shift in India or somewhere else for US staffing region they can know about these opportunities know about this role these roles can be full-time with the company working offshore or this could be a freelancing role with the company so these roles are as follows other roles in staffing businesses are legal executives contracts manager tools administrator network admin corporate recruiters employee engagement executives operations manager floor manager lnd training manager it infrastructure manager sourcing executives assets manager immigration executives labor and compliance manager graphic designers content and proposal writers website and social media manager content developer that is video marketing content such as audio video and text these roles are having specific responsibilities in the organization for example legal people are dealing with contracts of the organization legality of the organization reviewing the paperwork agreements between companies a contracts managers ensure that all the contracts that has been performed in the company are stored retrievable renewed as the time comes for renewing of each of the contracts between company to company and party to party tools administrator these are your it tools that an administrator manages monitors for authorization and identity network administration is important for managing companies network support helps x it corporate recruiters are important for recruiting people in the organization internally and employee engagement executives are both internal and external those employee engagement executives those consultants that we hire they ensure that they are being taken care of and they are being engaged on different activities so they feel relevant so there are internal employee engagement activity executives there are externals as well operations managers there are different kinds of operations business operations sales operations delivery operations so we also have a floor manager that includes also in the floor operations as well so operations manager is a management is a big field in which people needs to have knowledge about people floor business tools technology and all the local area knowledge as well lnd training manager it's again a different topic here lnd training in the staffing industry is totally has to be has to be different from the normally lnds that we have available that is why you don't see a lot of lnd training managers because they whatever the learning and development happens in a staffing environment it's more towards recruitment sourcing selecting interviewing emailing cold calling and all those things basically lnd training managers in the general industries are trained on voice and accent general english alphabetical grammatical on all those areas so it is very hard to find such talented people who are in lnd who have experience in recruitment business so they are able to align themselves in the recruitment business so we will come back to lnd learning and development concept in the staffing industry in the later part of the series it infrastructure management it is very important to have a really good it infrastructure so that you are not running downtime anytime with your staffing operations so there needs to be an infrastructure manager which is managing your servers network internet and everything on the go sourcing executives are different from recruiters these guys are only required to source candidate for the jobs that we have uh, and submit the resumes to recruiter so that they review initial screen phone call and submit assets manager are the people who manages companies assets throughout nationally or internationally or globally immigration executives are helpful for filing lca application reviewing application uh, re, uh, uh, answering to the notices being sent to us from the IRS or from the immigration department labor and some compliance manager is required to have locally city state wise country wise and internationally in the United States a graphic designer role is important in creating beautiful graphics for creating job ads or creating logo banners for LinkedIn Facebook social media YouTube and etc content and proposal writer is important if your staffing agency is involved in state and federal government staffing contracts uh, there needs to be have a great proposal writer who have ex experience in writing proposal for government state and federal agencies 
website and social media manager social media has become an important aspect of every any business so today if you are into a business you must have social media accounts updated with your employee business services solutions celebration rewards and recognition updated timely content developer if you wish to go extra hand would like to bring in more customers drive more engagement based on your target audience you need to have content developers who have experience in creating audio video text contents for your organization so that you can publish on linkedin facebook twitter instagram snapchat and all those things that is required for a company's interest content developer again differs from different activities such as you want to focus on client side content development organization side content development or you want to create a journal content for engagement of your journal audience so it is important to know what type of content developers you are required to have in the organization there are various holidays observed in united states holidays are subjected to employers in india for us staffing business these are all general standard holidays list for 2020 the list of holidays in us say in 2020 are new year's day Martin Luther King's Jr. Day, President Day, Mother's Day, Memorial Day, Father's Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Cabrini Day, Columbus Day, U.S. Indigenous Peoples Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Day After Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Eve. So there is a list of holidays uh, United States celebrates. Those are all federal, regional, or public holidays that is absorbed by Indian staffing agencies as well. With this, we have finished our third part of US Staffing Course 2020 on YouTube. I would like you guys, whoever is watching my video, to provide me feedback or ask me any specific questions. So it is important for you to grab this, all of this information, share with your friends, share with your LinkedIn friends, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere that you can send on WhatsApp, Telegram groups for people who are from different teams would like to get knowledge about the US staffing industry. It is important for them to have informed decisions before they want to step into this industry, having all the knowledge that is required. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next episodes. Bye.